is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? Happy New Year to you, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. But you're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions unto you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you'll know the truth. This is a tough card because it's like, okay, what if they don't tell you the truth? Right? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 63. NASDAQ up 31, S&P's up 6.5. Gold contract down $17.90 at 12.48 an ounce. Silver. Off 23 cents, $15.72 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up 70 cents, $56.66 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note, down eight ticks, 124.10. 30 year bond off a full point, 153.02. King dollar, King dollar up 177 ticks, trading at 93.414. The euro is at 117 and three quarters to the US dollar. The yen is trading out here at 113 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be such a cool hour coming into the close once again. So, what we have out here, and, you know, we'll see uh, whether this is going to uh, shake out. Uh, S&Ps got up to a price point today of uh, 24, 26.41. Uh, you know, yesterday you, you got up to the price point of uh, 26.32, sold out, sold down into the close. Prior day you got up to a price point of 26.48, sold down into the close. Prior day you got up to a price point of 26.65, sold down into the close. Um, bottom line, we have two different. Uh, you you have a high volume spike right now from the first sell that was out here, uh, 10 minutes to three this afternoon. Uh, what you also have is that you have the low, the high volume spike from this morning, and that uh, spike is 26.28. So I suspect we're going to go after that uh, coming into the close again. The NQs, we take a look at the NQs. What do you have? Same type of setup inside the NQs. Uh, NQZ7. So we have uh, inside the NQs right now, you are up 18 and a half points. Um, that little baby uh, intraday also the at uh, we have the high spike at 62.99 as well as the spike that's laying out here from this morning at 62.88. Now 62.88 would be really intriguing because that would be saying that you'd actually get in the negative looking at the NDX 100. Small caps, we go take a look at the small caps out here. IWM, IWM is up 95 cents. Uh, you've done 16 million shares, 16.9 million. Uh, that baby is uh, going into uh, 29 million as well as 36 million. Small caps also look like they, they want to sell off coming into the close. Uh, inside the commodity market, you get some big numbers here. Uh, down numbers, that is. We have the uh, natural gas down 4.8%. That's trading at 278. You get orange juice off 2.5%. Coffee's off 25 Silver is down 1.5. Gold is down 1.5. You get wheat off a percent. Soybeans are off a percent. Uh, in the plus, we have gasoline 
Unleaded gas wholesale is up 2%. You get uh, oil up 1.6%, and crude is up 1.2%. If we go over to crude and take a look at crude for a second, we're at 56.71, and bottom line, 56.71. Uh, this is more than likely building a small ABC structure on the way down. Uh, yesterday, uh, bottom line, you come off those highs. You did 215,000 contracts. You get 143 on the way up today. Uh, that's building some cause to go into lower price. Some of the higher volume stocks we have out here today. You have uh, Micron Tech up $1.19. We have Bank of America up 20 cents. Comcast is down 68. You have Wells Fargo up 70 cents. Marbell is up 8. We have Microsoft down 40. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. Strength inside the Dow, putting points inside the Dow today is Boeing. Boeing's putting 28 positive points. Goldman's putting 16. Caterpillar's putting 14. Visa's putting 9. Taken away from it. Procter & Gamble uh, putting 7 and negative points into it. Travelers 7. Johnson & Johnson 6. Big Mac 6. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Strength out here today is Fox. That's up 3.5%. That's all about uh, selling the, their assets uh, to someone. Disney looks like, uh, not all their assets, the, the studio. Uh, Disney looks like the leader uh, thus far. Micron Tech is up 2.8%. Uh, taken away from it. You get C-Trip down 3.3%. Alexa Pharmaceuticals off 2.6%. You have... Walgreens down 1.9, and you have Comcast down 1.6. Notes. Let's go to take a look at the note market, the bond market. Notes, the 10-year note first off, that is down 7 ticks. You have done just over a million contracts, and I believe we're coming into 2 million. Yeah, they're going to need a lot more of the contract volume to bang this baby. Are you actually coming into, yeah, well, the most conservative I could get, you're coming into 1.4 million. And you're coming down to one. Bottom line is you're also coming into 2.5 million. So bottom line, you're going to need a lot more selling inside the bond market in order to get to lower price. That is on the 10-year. We take a look at the 30-year. 30-year, you've done 239,000 contracts, same type of setup, meaning that you're coming into a big numbers, uh, 355. I won't even count the one, the 600,000, 355. So same type of setup. We go over to the TLT, you're going to see it pretty clear, actually, because the TLT yesterday, uh, that got up over the swing, but that volume was contracting. Uh, the TLT is down at 8.9 million. Uh, that's going into uh, 10.9 million, uh, not even counting the big day. So same with the, the uh, TLT. The GDX, let's go to the GDX. They've killed that gold contract. Um, that being said, on the metals, uh, the stocks are just, uh, they, that's, con the volume's contracting. You're going into the July low, swing low. If we put this on a weekly basis, what you're going to be looking for is, let's see what we got here. So, okay, so here's the numbers. 21 bucks. That's your number. 21 even. Uh, we've hit 21.40 today. 21.82 is the high of that. Uh, we are going to test that area thus far the test is on a lot lighter volume we'll see what we need now is a rejection of price stay right there folks come right back hi folks tom o'brien here if you'd like to get my daily newsletter market insights then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial every morning by 9 30 i send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets currencies and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action included in market insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks etfs and even options with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter if you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days then head over to the front page of tfn and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 61. You get the NASDAQ up 32. S&Ps are up 6.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Hecht, as we do each and every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, Andy's got a great show right here at TFNN, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Just jump right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You hit Tiger TV. And, in fact, folks, just remember that you can go to YouTube uh, and just go to TFNN Corp subscribe it's free you just hit one button each and every time that we put up a new hour or we're doing updates uh you get it right on your cell phone great way to do it just hit it get it you're off to the races now as you come over to tfnn uh you're going to see right on the front page i'm at mr andy heck uh bottom line you can test either one of his newsletters that is daily essentials which is his daily newsletter or the Technomental Commodity Report, which is his weekly newsletter. You do that, you're going to get his full course of the 12 essential lessons for trading commodities. Absolutely free. Check it out right on the front page of TFNN. Uh, great course. Uh, as you, if you signed up right now, you are, you're going to get the uh, first four months. This started in September. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing good, too. Listen, you, say, you know, you think there's any tax law selling going on in commodities here? Who knows? They're selling. I don't know. That's all I know. They're, They're selling, selling, man. <laughs> They're selling. And, you know, we're in this environment, this crazy environment with Bitcoin. I mean, that thing is out of, totally out of control. I mean, what did that trade to, 18000 today? Well, look at this, folks. This is pretty wild now, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I got on this high here, 16,777. Um, but I heard the same thing. Tom was telling me someone was registered. I heard it traded to 19,000. I, I know. I, I, and I think on Coinbase that it actually did. On Coinbase, I saw it over 18,000. But on this Bloomberg right now, it's showing that the highest is 16,777. Um, yeah. It, now, folks, you know, if you haven't, uh, you know, you, you, you always hear me yapping about uh, the Nadex platform. Go over to the Nadex platform and you can sign up. They'll put $25,000 into your account. You can play with paper money because get check this out, Andy, right? And, folks, defined risk, they are going to be trading spreads on Bitcoin starting next week. 
That's good stuff. It's it's huge, and they're going to be weekly. So t I saw Tommy. Tommy was on it today, and uh, it was great. He sold 200 b bitcoins. I was just watching this thing, and of course, it was tumbling. Um, so, bottom line, go over and check it out, folks. You, you'll get whether you if, trade there. You know, it's a great program, number one. But you get free quotes. But you're going to be able to follow that. And so it's going to be intriguing watching this uh, shake out. But and needless to say, so Sunday night, Bitcoin starts this Sunday night. Bitcoin starts trading at the CBOE. Next Friday, it starts at the Monster, which is the CME. So, uh, right. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a wild one. I mean, oh, my God. It's going to be wild. So let's talk about precious metals a little bit. Yes. Here. I, I'm having a little trouble with my chart, so if you can put them up for us, yeah, that, I, I'd appreciate there it. There we I'm go. Just, uh, little challenged at the moment. You want me to um, start with gold? Do we want me to start? Yeah, Silver, let's start platinum? With gold. gold. Let's start with gold. Okay. Because gold is just, you know, it's, it's a... <laughs> I sold it. Yeah. Out of control. Right. Out of control. You know, I listen, there's some I sold today, too. I mean, you know, coffee's looking terrible. That's broken down. We're getting a lot of breakdowns. Natural gas, I'm hanging in there in. But let's go to gold for a minute yep. uh, to stay on topic. Uh, you know, the bottom line is the last two Decembers, same thing happened. It looks like it's shaping up the same way. Uh, you know, I know. Yeah. You know, uh, the bottom line here is uh, it could fall to 1200 ish. It could. I, you yeah. know, nothing is out of out of, yeah. out of question here. So it so, is it is really intriguing what Andy's talking about, folks. This is you know I have the chart up, and you're going to see you know December the week of December fourth, thousand uh, forty six. That's 2015. Then gold goes from a thousand forty six up to thirteen seventy seven in July. Starts heading back down again. December of 2016, we get to eleven twenty three. Doesn't look back again until September at 13.58, and now we're laying at 12.44. Right. So, so what were we? We're about $75 higher from 2015 low to the 2016 low. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. 11.23. Yeah, to, to, yeah, seventy-five to bucks. Seventy-five, 75 bucks. bucks. Yeah. So seventy-five bucks, about twelve hundred. I mean, you know, yeah, right. If, if history is going to repeat itself, hey, I, I think it sets up bargains for two thousand and eighteen. That's it, my opinion. Listen, you know, Bitcoin, Let's, Bitcoin at eighteen thousand and gold at twelve forty-four. It's hard to comprehend uh, the what has value. What the market is saying has value versus what doesn't have value. And I guess yeah, we're going to really. Parabolic. Yeah, well, we're going to know as soon as these futures get their head wrapped around it for a couple of weeks. Right, we'll know. And and look, silver let it down. Silver's the trading sardine. It did. It did. You know, silver did. Silver did give us a clue. I know. Oh, it, it, it definitely did. And, you know, if we pull up silver here now, folks, okay, uh, I'll pull up the continuous contract there, too. And uh, this is rolling right into that uh, low. Right, 1515. You know. That's the low for right. July 10th. <clears throat> yeah. After the flash crash, and and platinum has followed, but platinum's been a dog since 2014. Um, but Tom, palladium, palladium, palladium refuses to follow. Wow, that's and, interesting. And you know, we were we were talking about palladium, you know, for the last couple of months. Yeah. You know, it's been following the the industrial commodities. But Tom, copper collapsed earlier this week. Palladium sure. has not given it up. Yeah. Well, no. I guess they're still selling lots of cars, and they need palladium, right? I mean, that's yeah, that's, right. that's where that's that right. is happening. You know. That's right. So, you know, going over to the natural gas because I know everyone's interested in that 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 wild puppy that's dropped forty five cents since November the twenty ninth. Um, you know, big, big move there. Market was disappointed today. The EIA came out and gave us a 2 BCF injection. I know. We, we were expecting a withdrawal, a small withdrawal, 5 to 10 BCF. That was expectations. Uh, but natural gas was down before the EIA numbers, so someone knew something. Yeah. And uh, basically, they crushed it. The key level there. 272.30, the recent low, and then 252.20. But Tom, I'm not getting too bearish on natural gas here. This is a market that hands out pain to longs and shorts alike. Open interest has been climbing. Um, 
And the bottom line there is I think that the shorts will get pain eventually. You know, in Boston, in New York, in Chicago, it's going to be in the low 20s, high teens at night. Yeah, the uh, next so it, heat. We just felt it. it. It actually, so what happens in Florida, folks, is that when a cold front comes in, most times, it just doesn't get cold. We have to get like a bunch of clouds and it has to rain first and then it'll turn beautiful but it'll be cold. That's what we have right now. It's You can see me in a sweatshirt. This just started like about three hours, four hours ago. Right, and you see me, I'm wearing my sweatshirt because it's freezing here. <laughs> it's cold here. I, I actually had a sweater on. I took it off. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I think that there's something crazy going on in natural gas here. We're going into the winter season with the lowest stocks in three years, Tom. The bottom line is I, I think this is an opportunity. Yeah, you stay right there, folks. Andy and I will be coming right back. We're going to be talking markets. We're going to be talking commodities. Right now, you have the Dow Industrials up 75. NASDAQ's up 36. S&Ps are up 8. But coming right back, folks. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The so Dow Industrials right now um, up 70. You get the NASDAQ up 37. S&Ps are up 8. And, you know, we were just talking uh, uh, about Bitcoin. And so uh, let's go through this one, Andy. So... Let's see, what, because I know there's, dis, there's different numbers out here, uh, and this is where uh, this thing is really going to get intriguing. So uh, this article here is about Bitcoin, Bitcoin's po poised to go legit. Uh, is it really ready? Three days before the Chicago Board of Option Exchange, global markets, one of the 
world's biggest regulated exchanges, uh, is going to start trading futures in the cryptocurrency. He had one of the wildest sessions ever. On Coinbase, yeah, see, that's, what, that's where this went up there. On Coinbase, prices zoomed almost to 20,000 from 16,000 in 90 minutes, then crashed back down. <laughs> oh, my God. The it's largest, crazy. It is. The, current, the largest digital currency is still up more than 16-fold this year. Let's see. Coinbase, one of the largest coin exchanges, uh, online exchanges used by investors, temporarily crashed and continues to suffer from service delays. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a huge problem, man, because Coinbase crashes all the time. It seems. I mean, we've had Paul from uh, California uses it. People, people that use it. They, I, there was someone in the den today. They, they, they were using it. You know, it's there's just so many people on it, man. It's, you know, it's easy it's, to crash. It's, easy, it's by the way, folks. It's really easy to crash any type of exchange or services uh, when you know you're scaling up like coinbase is scaling up i mean so, yes yeah yes yes uh, you know it's going to be interesting it's the ultimate trading sardine i mean up until now natural gas has been the wild one but yeah. you know this thing makes natural gas look like you know like kindergarten it does man the <laughs> trading sardine <laughs> trading sardine that's oh what it is God. It's, uh, you know it's uh my, my son called me up he bought point one of a bitcoin uh last week okay and he goes hey, I, I'm up a thousand dollars. Right. I said, take it, take it to the bank. Yeah, that's, you know. It, it, seem, it, it seems that the I've had I've heard plenty of people buy them. I haven't heard people that actually sell them and have got the money out. I, in fact, I haven't had anyone that I know yet. You know. Well, I'll tell you these these Winklevoss twins. Right. They they are, are paper billionaires. Yes, they are. Point. No, they they. And, that, and How that, great they, would it be? You know, they should they should liquidate all their Bitcoin and turn around and buy Facebook. Uh, they 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 don't have that much money. <laughs> they what they did, folks, is that what the story is is that they took ten million of the settlement they had with Facebook. Facebook them, I think it was a billion. Mm. Uh, they took ten million of that, put it into Bitcoin because they will go in front of the SEC to get um, you know to trade the, the ETF on Bitcoin. That's so they, they had they needed something for a basis. And those now are worth over a billion paper wise. So unbelievable. Unbelievable. no it is unbelievable. There's there's no doubt. The real question's gonna be uh, does anyone get out alive and has anyone sold any and, and really pocketed any money? That's what I'd really like to know. You know what I mean? So the only commodity today that's doing okay well, a couple. Uh, you know, palladium certainly is doing okay, back over a thousand. But oil, and you know, it's the manipulated oil commodity, the OPEC uh, uh, decision to extend. That one's hanging in there, and and the products are actually doing pretty well. But you know, the natural gas is kind of a divergence from that whole situation. So. Very interesting what's going on. I mean, we got absolutely killed in in, in, in in the soft commodities here. You got coffee under pressure. Cocoa totally collapsed. Cotton is doing okay, but orange juice collapsed. You, you have the grains. They've been under pressure for, for a long time. You got the precious metals collapsing. You have the natural gas collapsing. So is this, do you think, I mean, is this another indication that we're going to basically go into deflation again? What, what do you think? I don't, I don't know. I don't think yeah. so. I don't think I don't think it's an indication of deflation. You know, it's for, certainly not the dollar, okay? Because the dollar is sitting a lot closer to lows. Exactly. Than highs. Exactly. All right. But you do have a Fed that's changing complexion. Yeah. You know, the president appointed this guy Marvin Goodfriend. Good friend. Uh, he was a member of the Shadow Fed. He's a professor, economics professor at Carnegie Mellon. And uh, Professor Goodfriend um, was, um, you know, he was very much against quantitative easing. Okay. But he was in favor of um, uh, negative interest rates. Very interesting. Really? Wow. Yeah. So I, I've been reading up a lot about him. And um, basically, you know, more, definitely more hawkish than the crowd we have in there now, right? And you have um, uh, Mr. Uh, Powell, who's yeah. going to take over, who's more of a consensus kind of guy, voted with Yellen every time. But when, when Janet Yellen has, sings her swan song 
next Wednesday and they raise rates by 25 basis points and they do all the things that they're going to do and, you know, they set the, the, the balance sheet normalization in place. The markets, I think, are, are a little concerned. The commodity markets are a little concerned about the, the fact that interest rates are going to rise. I think the markets are also concerned that the ECB is going to act sooner rather than later to end QE and they're going to boost um, – uh, interest rates from negative 40 basis points in Europe that could spark the euro higher and the dollar, you know, the, that that would be the dollar lower. So you got two things pulling at these commodity markets here. And it's very confusing picture and it's adding to volatility. Also, we're coming into the time of the year where there's tax law selling. And, you know, you have ETFs or ETNs and some of these, these um, uh, products like cocoa and coffee and these things. Maybe it's a good time to take some losses, you know, because what else can you take losses in? Certainly, if you long anything with a ticker in the world of stocks, uh, Tom, you yep. made money this That's year. That's a good point. Um, yep. You know, yep. and maybe, and I, I looked at the volume. Look at the volume today in the in the uh, cocoa ETF and the coffee ETF. The volumes are pretty high, and maybe you're seeing some end year early tax loss selling that's translating into selling in these futures markets. Yeah, no. I, I mean, that's the theory I'm coming up well, with. Well, no, that, that, listen, man, the, 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 the ETFs are great when things are going up, and they basically are disgusting when things are going down because they drag things down much quicker. Exactly. They, they yeah. exacerbate moves. Right. There's no question. So I, I got my chart back here. I'm looking at coffee here today. Coffee's breaking down. I'm looking at cocoa over the last couple of days. That sucker's breaking down. You know, just a lot of things. Natural gas is breaking down. You know, and if you look at the volumes traded in these these ETF ETN products, perhaps a lot of people are uh, are bailing. You know, cleaning out their portfolios. Yeah, no, no. I, I listen. I can see that. I mean, it's it's, it's, a, it's an explanation because, quite yeah. frankly, when I look at the fundamentals, the fundamentals look a lot better than they have, particularly natural gas. Let's go to that one because, Tom. We're going into the winter. First of all, today's December 7th, though it's Pearl Harbor Day, right? Yeah. Um, today's December 7th. Winter doesn't start for two weeks, all right? right? You know, it's going to get cold. There's no question. You got two more demand verticals now. You got power, more power generation coming from natural gas. You got um, um, certainly LNG is off taking some natural gas. Sure. So you have more demand this winter. And the bottom line is this thing's falling apart before the winter even starts. Yeah, pretty amazing. Listen, right here, folks, uh, hour and uh, 20 minutes. I'm Mr. Andy Hex, going to uh, get you a great show, 5 to 6. Check it out. Andy, thank you so much, man. Have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show in an hour and 20 minutes. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 59. You get the Nasdaq up 36. S&Ps are up uh, seven and a half. We go over and let's go to the uh, XLE first and see uh, where the uh, good old XLE is uh, shaking out here. So XLE uh, up 20 cents, 7 million shares traded. We go down yesterday with uh, 12 million. That looks like it's setting up a small ABC structure down to get into 66.34. Right now you're at 68.65. The XLF, the financials. We take a look at the financials. Uh, that is up seven cents, twenty-seven dollars eighty-two cents. That's having a hard time holding price. So this would be intriguing. I mean, the, the XLF has to get back inside sixty twenty-six ninety-two to basically get out of the higher range that it's been in. Uh, Goldman, Goldman is the canary in the coal mine. You want to keep your eye on it. Um, we had pulled back uh, a prior. Well, it's about eight months ago. Um, Goldman was the canary. Uh, that baby uh, pulled back. And now what we do have with uh, Goldman, once again, is that Goldman failed on a monthly going after its 2007 high. So your, your number is 250.70. We're at 248.07 right now. That, uh, that was the, high, the first high that was generated that did that with 207 million shares, and we failed on 54 million versus the 270. So it's going to be intriguing watching this out, particularly because what Goldman has done, uh, you know, it broke topside, came right back underneath that level, and is still having a hard time basically uh, catching price. We got to 249.48 today. Uh, then you just back down slightly. And right now, uh, we'll see whether it wants to get into this uh, 246.44 level. Uh, Amazon, let's go to the king out here. So the king uh, of retail, of delivery, that is up uh, 750. Uh, this, oh, this is going to be intriguing today. Okay, so, yeah, you get contraction, uh, volume contracting big time here, too. So you're coming into 9.2 million. You've done 2 million. Uh, this wants lower price. This wants to get into 1,150, actually. That's the top of the breakout area. Let's go to Google. Google is catching a bid. So Google is up 12 bucks, 1,030. Yeah, that, that can still get, uh, that, that wants to go tap its high. 1,040 to 1,062 more than likely is game. Facebook. Same setup. Facebook's uh, face, face, Facebook's going to go. Facebook is into its downdraft in a big way. So the low of that uh, downdraft last Friday was 174, high 178. That's going to be tested. Dramatically light of volume, but you can see it wants to be tested. Nvidia, NVDA, chip stocks. They're the ones that let us. Uh, once that baby start get going on Friday, and this is going going nowhere. This is probably a big ABC down. This, the first leg is pretty big. 217, 
to 180. So you're talking about a 37 point leg on the way down. Today, we're bouncing $2 with 11 million shares. You're going into uh, monster volume. You're going into 31 million. Lamb Research, LRCX. Actually, I'm going to go over to Adobe. Uh, the reason I want to go over to Adobe, because I believe Adobe is coming out. Yeah, there it is. So Adobe, folks, has got smoked. Um, and this is going to get really interesting. So, well, a lot of the chip stocks did. Well, not that Adobe's a chip stock, but a lot of the tech stocks did. So Adobe went from $186 on the 28th of November down to 165 You bounce in today with light volume. Now, Adobe has an implied volatility move uh, the week of the, their earnings coming out on the 14th of $10 right now. What that means, okay, it, it doesn't mean that, it just means it's either going to go up or down $10. That is how the option market is defining the volatility move inside Adobe. So this is going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. Because what Adobe also has is this. Adobe has a monster gap from $153 all the way up to $164. So you get an $11 gap. We snuck into the gap just about on Tuesday. Didn't get to it. 165.68. The gap is 164.42. That being said, the danger point is that this is an ABC down, and bingo, you get right into that gap um, on the earnings number. You know, these, uh, these earnings are basically good, just going to keep paling out here. Let's go over and we take a look at the uh, GLD. We know that the, uh, the metal itself got, got smoked. The GLD, that's down on 9.3 million. We bring this back. So I'm putting this on a weekly right now. 34 million, 32. Okay, so we're going to have volume going into uh, the swing point from July. The low of that is 114, the high is 116. Yeah. Forty one million. Yeah, you're also going into forty one million. But bottom line is that this the more you teeter at these uh, lows and the more that you stay at lows, uh, that's when the markets themselves can really start picking up some strength. We go take a look at uh, Walmart. Walmart's hanging tough, man. Uh, that little baby is definitely hanging tough. So, uh, UPS, let's go see what the two delivery services are doing. UPS, that's in the lower range. That's $119.66. Man, this is a trip. This is a failure, too. So, we bring this back. Yeah, 120.44. 120.44 is the number. Keep an eye on this one because that is saying that wants to go to lower price. Uh, FedEx, FDX. Let's see where FedEx is. Oh, almost the same type of setup. Interesting. The difference is the FedEx hasn't failed. So UPS has uh, failed versus FedEx has not. You know, FedEx. 2009 is a $34 stock, now you're at $239. And there's no doubt that the amount of deliveries that are going to be done uh, this holiday season is going to be exponential. And we'll find out uh, exactly uh, who is making the money or who is actually losing the money. Because what does happen, folks, is that this business has got so big so fast that if you are an owner, you know, of FedEx, of UPS, you know that, you know, you have clients, the clients want, want it on time, and I suspect we'd all be more concerned about making sure they get it on time versus making money on the deal. And that's where, when you get fast growth like they do, uh, you should get more business, but that is one of those deals that sometimes business costs you too much money, and it's a lost leader. It's a lost leader to keep the accounts. And, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, who can get the business, who's keeping the business, and can they bring that business to the bottom line?
because that's that's all that really matters when uh, when all said and done. And in fact, uh, let me just I'm gonna, we're going to bring this back just for a second. I just so let me see this growth aspect on FedEx. So they they ground over three years, it's growing about five percent. Yeah. Uh, the air, well, in general, they're growing about 2.4% all, when all, all's in. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Basil Chapman will be hosting a full-day Master Trader class Friday, December 8th from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. This live seven-and-a-half-hour online class will teach you the complete concepts of Basil's Chapman Wave trading methodology along with a variety of indicators and charting patterns that Basil uses on a daily basis, including the concept of higher peaks and lower troughs, the importance of the peak D, buy and sell modes, sustaining rallies and declines, MACD, stochastic, moving averages, on balance volume, and much more. Everyone that attends will also receive Basil's CD book introducing the Chapman Wave methodology, a $249 value, along with one month of his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value. Basil will be using live charts where and when possible in the webinar to show the concepts of his trading methodology, which works on all time frames. For all the details and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 63. You get the Nasdaq up 38. S&Ps are up 7.5. And, a half. and uh, let's go just take a look and see what we have uh, inside the volumes out here. Right now, you're at 500 million on the NYSE. That's saying that uh, they'll, they'll probably, we'll probably do 750 uh, inside the Nasdaq composite. We are at 1.6. Uh, that'll put it up to a uh, good uh, 1.855. Uh, inside the three Qs, the Qs have done 27 million. Uh, that baby is coming into uh, 59 million, so there's no action there. Small caps, IWM. Now this 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 volume will come in at the close. It looks like the small caps are going to actually get volume. We've done 21 million. Now you you're coming into some nasty volume out here. You're coming into 29. Small caps probably will do about uh, 25 million. The spies. We take a look at the SPY. Spy out here, up on 57, and that's coming into uh, 77. And that's you know, 77 and, and 94. So 
What you do have is that uh, inside the SPY, there's no doubt that uh, uh, that is contracting the S&P's. Uh, well, of course, the S&P's is contracting. The SPY is cr contracting. The, uh, the Q's, the NDX 100, uh, also is contracting. We'll go take a look at the uh, SLV. That's the ETF for the silver market. That's down 23 cents. And this, I believe, is coming right into that July swing low. Uh, so, yeah, the July swing low, 1444. We've hit 1477 today. I expect this is going to get hit. Um, now, the cool thing is, is that what you also have here is that this is also where we went topside in April. And 52 million shares versus 45, we're coming into that with 35. So that's not a bad indication volume-wise. But what we haven't got out here, which is crucial to wrap your head around, we need a rejection of lower price. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with the uh, uh, numbers after the close. Right now, you have the Dow Industrials up 62. NASDAQ is up 38. S&Ps are up 7.5. We're coming right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Monty in Worcester. Hey, Monty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all the time, and to not only you, but some of the others. Sure. To, you know, get an idea where the fish might be biting. As far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred, and you can get access and ask questions forever, you know, it's a great deal. No, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 70, NASDAQ up 36, S&Ps up 8, gold contract down $16.40 trading at $12.49 an ounce, silver down 21 cents. $15.74 an ounce. They smacked that commodity market in a big way, folks. They smacked the metals. Uh, commodities uh, out here, the only commodity that we actually uh, trade in, uh, oil was up. Oil was up 1.7%. Uh, 1.1% uh, crude was, and the uh, heating oil was up one7 Other than that, you had natural gas down 4.7% uh, at 278 
You had gold down 1.3 at 12.49. Silver was off 1.2 at 15.75. Uh, sugar was down 1% at $14.31 a pound. Uh, bottom line, big numbers inside the commodity market. And that was without the uh, dollar really moving higher, which is pretty amazing. Oil. Oil was up 64 cents, trading 56.59. You had the note and bond market lower. We had the 10-year note down six ticks, 124.12. 30-year bond down 24, 153.10. Now, both of those pull back with light volume. They still want higher price, bottom line. King dollar. King dollar up 143 ticks, trading at 93.380. The euro is trading at 117 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. The yen at 113 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, let's go to the world of the S&Ps and see what we have happening. So if we pull up the SPY, what you're going to see out here... You did 71 million shares, you're up 80 cents. Bottom line, 264.05, 265.15, no doubt can get hit. Uh, the low of the high, we we're, we're just got to it, we're, we're in it. So bottom line is that uh, we'll see whether we get a rejection this tomorrow, end of the week tomorrow, Friday. Uh, the number to keep your eye on there is 264.08, and right now we're at 264.07, pretty wild. The NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Uh, the three Qs out here today went up 52 cents, 30, 31 million shares traded. Uh, the high of Tuesday uh, was uh, 154.55. Right now we're at 154.02. Uh, you, you're coming into some nasty down days. So we'll still deal just uh, at this point with the high of the Tuesday and see whether it can handle it, which is uh, 54 cents higher than where we are right now. We, we take a look at the uh, small caps, the IWM. IWM out here did 26 million shares. Uh, that is coming into 29 million as well as 36 million. And what I'm not using uh, thus far, which you can use, but uh, bottom line is that I'm using the, I'm not using last Friday, because last Friday was one nasty day. And that's not the reason. It's just that if you can use to be the most conservative, meaning that if you're using the largest one, then that makes sense that, yeah, it's going to have a harder time. If, you, if you're using the smallest one that you're going into, that means that it's showing the weakness that is on the counter trend bounce. That's what that is showing. We take a look at some of the higher volume stocks uh, in this market out here today inside the S&P. You had uh, GE can't get out of its way. That was up five cents at seventeen dollars and seventy-one cents. Micron Tech was up a buck sixty-two. Excuse me. Uh, Wells Fargo up seventy-nine cents, fifty-nine dollars and thirty-nine cents. Uh, Ma Bell was up six at 36.17. Uh, Citigroup down 46 at 74.98. Uh, Facebook up four bucks at 180. Freeport Mac Moran up 49 cents. Now it's interesting about uh, FCX. Uh, FCX caught a bid out here. Now FCX, folks, uh, is and this is where this gets intriguing. That this is one of the largest. Uh, copper miners uh, in the world, and then what they end up doing is that they end up buying um, a bunch of uh, uh, oil. Uh, but the bottom line is that, you know, copper got smoked, uh, but when you look at their numbers, they do $16 billion a year. When you look at their numbers, uh, out of that $16 billion, only $1.3 is in oil. So this move here inside Freeport Mac Moran uh, is saying to me that, uh, guess what, the copper, let's go over and take a look at copper, um, because copper came down fast and furious yesterday when China came out with their five-year plan. And if we take a look, where are you right now, copper? There she is. So copper, 296 a pound. That came down hard. HG1, let me go into a continuous contract and see what we have. Okay, so pull this back. Okay, so yeah, listen, man, copper can go to 282. But, you know, the way, let me look at SCCO and see how that's trading. 
That is the largest car. Yeah, it's the SSEO. This is pretty cool, man. So uh, Southern Copper was actually up six pennies. It rejected the lower part of the consolidation that it's been in. It's good. It's good. It's still a good-looking chart. So that is saying that uh, this is going to be uh, an event that is going to be over pretty quickly inside the copper market. We go take a look at the uh, high flyers out here. We had uh, Facebook. Uh, that is going for its highs once again. You had up four dollars, 180. The high out here is uh, 184. The low of that high is 182. We take a look at Google. Google also caught a bid out here. Google was up 12 bucks, 1,030. Now Amazon didn't catch the bid. Uh, Amazon looks like it's uh, building more cars for lower price. Amazon was up seven dollars, 11.59. That's that looks to me like it's going to go test the. Breakout area, the top of the breakout area, which is a 11.05. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is going to start uh, trading on the Chicago Board of Option Exchange this coming Sunday night. By next Friday, a week from tomorrow, you're going to be in the CME, and Bitcoin had quite a day. Bitcoin had a low today of 13,329 and a high of 16,777. Yeah, you heard that right, 16,777. At this time, it's trading 15799 We'll come right back, folks. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow up 70, NASDAQ is up 36, S&Ps are up 10 and a half. Let's go to uh, Kevin in uh, California. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing pretty well. Thank cool, you. man. Cool. I just have a 
quick kind of scenario I want to run by you and, uh, and talk a little bit about uh, SLV and the dollar index. Okay. Pull up like a two-year chart or three-year chart, something like that, daily of SLV. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I got a two-year right now. Yep. Draw a trend line from the, the lows back in um, late 2015 and early 2016. Okay. Through that spike low there in, like, July of Oh, interesting. This okay, year. I got it. Yeah, right. And see what it did today. Yeah. It just, it tagged it. Man, that's crazy. On a crazy. daily chart. Okay. Quite a bit lighter volume. Yeah. Today than that big candle it's going into earlier in the year. Yeah, I guess, you know, <laughs> I'm glad you call it, man. The, the, the great thing here is that it did it. The, the sad thing is if it breaks, it's going to 13 bucks, right? <laughs> well, no, no, that's, that's true. But, yeah. it, it's, it, but what's interesting about this, I, for, for me, this, this is actually a pretty good risk-reward. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. Right no, here. I agree. Listen, I, 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 I get it. I'm, 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 there's no doubt. Right. right. Yeah. yeah and, and I love these kind, of, these kind of inverse head and shoulders patterns where, like, if you go back to July, okay. you know, there's one that it's testing right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see what you're looking at, too. Okay. I mean, that's pretty they, cool. They explode because um, so many people are short and, and, and have puts. And if we get any kind of move at all, especially um, coming into maybe Monday even, if we can, if we can stay above that, that trend line tomorrow, and if we can come into Monday and something freaky happens with – Say Bitcoin with the with the futures trading now on, on Bitcoin and that gets slammed and uh, where the dollar index is right now, which right. looks like it's it's putting in sort of a inverse head and shoulders pattern. It might finish it out tomorrow. In fact, if you pull up the the dollar index. Okay, let's see. So I'll put the continuous one on, right? Because yeah. how far you want me to go back here? Same thing, two years. Uh, yeah. Say, well, you don't even need to do that. You could just put it on a on a like a yearly chart, maybe even. Okay. There's a year. But, but look at the head and shoulders pattern that we have going right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, right. right. And see, and if it, if it completes that little gap up there into, I don't know, just shy of like 94, 90, 93.8, something to that effect. Yeah. Which it could be tomorrow. Um, boy, that's, that's, a, that's just a really interesting setup for it to just reverse and, and start heading back down toward 91. Yeah, listen, man, I think the dollar is in a monster ABC down to 82. That's where, and when I say yeah. that, I'm talking, you know, year, year and a half, but that's yeah. what it looks like I know. to me. I, 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 I know? see that, and, and I agree. And when you look, there, there's really been a, a, a divergence, especially in the past, I don't know, two weeks to a month between the dollar index and uh and gold especially. Yeah, and commodities um, in general. No, I agree. Yeah, the, 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 there's no doubt. There's no and, doubt. Meaning, and, folks, it hasn't moved higher, and, you know, gold's got smoked. Right. Right, right. So, I mean, those divergences, you know, oftentimes are, are, are meaningful, especially when you have other kind of technical things falling in, in, into. Oh, I love divergences. I think you can find out more about uh, the markets, uh, what you're trying to find out with the divergence more than anything. That's, that's, there's no doubt, man. And you, you, know, you don't know which way they're going to shake out, folks, but you can seem to make better decisions on divergences because, um, you know, that's, that's how it goes. In fact, I know one of, the, one of our two traders in the den, I'm going to bring up um, the GDX because I, I know that she had bought this right into the close because she had posted it. So let me pull this back. For, I'll do the same thing for two years. GDX did something similar on a, on a one-minute chart today. To, uh, <laughs> one to minute. I love you. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. So let's see. So, yeah, this, this is a little bit different setup. The GDX is definitely a different setup. But this is, let's see, so if I take this, put that in a two. Yeah, well, and the way the GDX is trading, this will get, I mean, this is never going to get the amount of volume that we had in December of 2016. That's, you know, you got one day to get 500, let's see. So we're at 143 million and that is going into 543 million. Yeah, so, you know, this, it's going to take quite a bit to break that down. And then you're going into 400. Yeah, this is nice, man. You know, this is... We, 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 just, we just came down so fast and furiously the past, 
you know, week, 10 days in, in precious metals. But you've got to think, you know, a lot of energy got dissipated. Yep. So many people are short. Everybody's, you know, how precious metals investors are. And we're oh, all, yeah. You know, biting our nails here on this one. Right. And, and this is just when you see massive reversals, or at least have the potential to see it, where the yeah. risk-reward setup is really uh, in your favor if you're willing to, to you know, take a small loss. Yes. No, I listen, man. I, there's no doubt. This, this is, so if you happen to be in a car, folks, we, we have this set up right now. Now we're on the GDX. We have the set up on a weekly going back uh, two years. And we, did, we need a rejection of price here. This is where we're at. I mean, it, it's, it's looking over the cliff. The cliff is like $20 and we'll say call 21 and we're 58 cents above it. Well, but what you do have underneath it is going to be like, a, okay, how do you break that low? Because that volume there is incredible, man. So, yeah. Well, anyway, I, I just wanted to call with 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 this scenario and, and tell people, you know, not necessarily to lose hope here, not to be not to be no. Uh, well, it, it's silly, it, but but, uh, but yeah, I don't. You know, what's kind of interesting too is that yes, you know, as I'm saying that the metal market did get smoked. That being said, folks, but the the equities really didn't. That that's right. the other side of it. So you know, it's not that you know. Believe me, when I'm out there, <laughs> it's like oh my god, uh, but. You know, the Barrick, which is the largest weighting structure inside the GDX, actually went up. That rejected lower price. That's up 11 cents. You go to New, uh, New, Newmont. Uh, Newmont was up 16 cents. That's the second largest weighting structure. Um, Check out Agnico Eagle, too. Actually, a -E -M. kind of a railroad tracks today. Yep. That rejected $40. You're at 4215 you know. And that's just one of the better-run companies out there. So, it is. You know, you got to think that people are in there, you know, um, buying, if not for a pop, maybe, you know, you, you've got institutional people uh, putting some money to work where, where they see, you know. Yeah, well, and we, we know that uh, what you do have, folks, is that just about any other, equ well, not any other equity, but the bottom line is that there's been a lot of green out there all year on, you know, so, yeah, listen, man, um, you know, and we know that the, the Fed, the numbers are already really baked into the marketplace, folks. The Fed Fund Futures have been laying at 80, 98, rather, for 98 to 100 last uh, month that, you know, short-term rates are going to go up next week. Um, you know, the real question is going to be, at that statement on the 13th of December, is the statement going to be, because now we're going to be talking 2018, are they saying that they think they're going to go up three or four times in that area? And if that's the case, see, that's, this is where, this, that's where the market's worrying, there's no doubt, because... Your 10-year right now is at 2.3. Now watch this. Your two-year is at 1.8. So if, in fact, they were going to go up three times, this is where we start hearing so much about this yield curve, you know, and that you get a flat yield curve, an inverted yield curve, and that's when people get worried, period, that they're going up too fast on interest rates. Yep. Cooking, brother. Thanks so much for the call, Kevin. Bye-bye. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 70, NASDAQ up 36, S&P's up 10. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. 
The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up at 70, NASDAQ up 36, S&P's up 10 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Don't forget, folks, uh, every trading day right here, Basil's got an outstanding program, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, he also has a, a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, uh, coming tomorrow, uh, it's a beautiful thing. He is going to be uh, doing the uh, Master Trader Series. And you don't have to be a master trader. He's going to make you a master trader. He's going to walk you through the Chapman Way, folks. Uh, tomorrow morning, it starts at 9 a.m. He's going to be on from 9 a.m. Uh, teaching till 4.30 in the afternoon. As you come over to our website, at TFNN, you can see it right in the top of the carousel. I'm Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, 9 a.m. to 4.30. He's going to be walking you through the peaks, the valleys. You're going to be riding that uh, wave. Get those surfboards ready. We're going to have a nice, big, volatile day for a Friday in December. You're going to love it. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm sure that you're all uh, getting ready for tomorrow morning. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's always exciting. So, yeah, the issue is, where do you stop? Because you really want to be as clear as possible. At the same time, you don't want to leave out anything. Uh, eight and a half hours is a long time. But I've done this many times before, so I'm really excited. I love doing it. Yes. And, what, you know, the, the interesting thing is, I'm always looking for that fourth highest peak. That was really the core of what I discovered years ago. I used to call it the seven waveform. I used to hand chart the Dow, the FTSE, and the Nikkei. So uh, that's when I, I discovered this, what I call the seven waveform. And then I found out that there were, you could go higher. And if you go higher, you can actually go a lot higher, but you've got to know what's going on at that peak D. And what's really interesting is if I go to so many charts, look at this. The Dow made a peak D at 24,534 in the daily chart yeah. on the 4th of December. It's come down. It's used a lot of time and a lot of price, actually, considering this is the deepest correction it's had in quite a few weeks. But look, it's above the nine-period moving average. I'm going to teach about this nine-period moving average. There's a little line that's crossing it that says, oh, it's got to be a little careful here. But the MACD is still good. Stochastic is very weak. So I'm going to be talking about the divergence. You spoke about divergence uh, before, and I also look at divergences. However, we're in a leg D in the weekly chart and a leg E in the monthly. So how do you put this all together? Well, the coincidence is, look here, S&P, right there. What did we do? Peak D at 26.57, same thing, four days ago. It's gone inside. You see these channel lines? I'm going to be teaching about the channel lines, what I call the inside track. Sometimes the price gets bumps into a certain area that's been a repellent before, and that's exactly what it did. Held a nine-period moving average. If it breaks down, yes, the support level. That's what we're going to be talking about. And then what's fascinating is we've spoken about the semiconductors. They led the market on the way up, led the market on the way down all year, and then back up again. 
This time, the semiconductor, the SMH, has made a peak. D top uh, right there at 105.83, uh, two exact same highs on the 22nd of November and 24th. This is one of the deepest. Look at this weekly chart. Yes. This is even deeper on a, on, on a percentage basis than it did back from the June pullback. So how and that's a peak D again. So this is what I'm going to be putting together. And it's so fascinating. You had a really good caller just a short while ago talking about gold in that trend line. Well, gold in the weekly chart made a peak D. And look how sharply it's pulled back. So that's the importance of the Ds. But you were talking about uh, trend lines. And if you're looking at the GLD, I had a, a call, I had a lot of people this morning talking about the GLD. And what I had said was, uh, the GLD is the gold, uh, that is the trading vehicle. It's trades at one tenth the price of gold, and it's trading at 118.42, and it's taking quite a beating, and it's below the 200 period moving average. So when he was looking at the, if I, he looked at the silver, and and the silver's been quite a bit weaker than gold for a while. But absolutely, yes. I love trend lines. Look at the weekly trend, a huge trend line from the low that was made back in December of 2015. Uh, this, is, this is SLV, and it's at 13.04, and it's hitting this trend line exactly. And that shows you the importance of lines that otherwise, I mean, when you're up at 16, you didn't even care about the trend line. All of a sudden, that trend line becomes very important. The technicals are still very weak in all the uh, time frames. So there's going to have to be some catalyst for the uh, metals to, to turn, not just to turn around, but to turn around to sustain a move to the upside. That's really the issue. And you remember we spoke about um, about uh, the dollar, and I had one of the techniques that I'm going to be teaching is there was a seven. It's hard to believe. 35 weeks from $91 in the, in, in May of 2016, the dollar it rallies to the January 2017 high of 103.82, and exactly 30. I don't know how these things know that, but in exactly 35 weeks to the week. It comes back and retests that 91.92 low. It goes a fraction below, goes to 91.01, and then starts a pretty nice bounce up. We, on the exact day of the low, subscribers bought the dollar via the UUP. It's just, it's not a great vehicle, but it's the best you've got. Okay. So it's, it's rallying, but here's one of those big arch formations with the left side, right side, price time match. This is what I call the inside track. It's another technique we're going to learn. It's, it points to where you can expect. Um, some kind of uh, coordination between the time and the price. Now we've had a rally, pull back a little too sharp, but the MACD is still quite good, and the stochastic's holding pretty well in the weekly chart. So I think, yeah, this is a really important time. We're looking at markets. As you said just now, it's been a fantastic year for stocks. Uh, the metals have had a, a problem, and some of the, not all the commodities, but quite a few of the commodities. So looking towards 2018, I'm trying to find the chart formations that are best going to fit this particular period. So uh, people who are attending, we're going to be looking at chart formations. We're going to be looking at exactly what we spoke about just now, trend lines, how you can use these moving averages. It's perfect time for it. It really is because between now and the end of the year, there might be a choppy sideways move because people are going to try to protect their gains. Sure. Um, but this is a perfect time for, lo for looking at patterns, practicing them. And we will practice them throughout the day, throughout the session. We're going to take live charts, trying to notate them. I'll ask everyone, what, it, what do you think here? What are we doing? What are we looking at? And we'll go from there. It's just, yeah, because there's, there's a lot day. of moving pieces at the end of the year, too. The, you get extra moving pieces at the end of the year, folks, because of the fact that people are figuring out what to do. And then what's going to uh, come into this. It's not only what's going to do, uh, but are we actually going to be going from a you know a 35% uh, tax bracket to a 20% tax bracket or 22, and that's going to change things and thinking. We don't even none of us even know. I mean, I was flipping around with this today, and I'm saying to myself, no, okay, you man, tell. you know that fine print is what becomes the big print. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. It you does. know what I mean? Stuff that gets squeezed in, and I there goes AKS. All of a sudden, the steel stocks came on strong. Some, I mean, maybe tariffs. Who knows? And we got that PD. Well, we're yeah, and Trump come out and said that he's going to start on infrastructure in January. That's that's oh, okay. that's gave him right. a pop. So, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see uh, man, Mr. Basil Chapman right at the top of the carousel. Now, this comes, folks, with a full month of his opening call. It comes with a CD book, great education. Um, 
we have great technology. It's going to be on your page uh, for as long as you'd like, actually. We normally keep them up there for 30 days, but something like this, I mean, it, we can keep them as, as long as you want. Uh, so you can see it many times over. Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the, uh, the Ambassador Trader Series tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Thank you very much, Tom. Have okay. a great evening. Stay warm up there. Yeah. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Coming back more back with, uh, with some numbers. And, of course, uh, just check out uh, Basil right on the front page of TFNN. Coming right back, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Basil Chapman will be hosting a full-day Master Trader class Friday, December 8th from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. This live seven-and-a-half-hour online class will teach you the complete concepts of Basil's Chapman Wave trading methodology along with a variety of indicators and charting patterns that Basil uses on a daily basis, including the concept of higher peaks and lower troughs, the importance of the peak D, buy and sell modes, sustaining rallies and declines, MACD, stochastic, moving averages, on balance volume, and much more. Everyone that attends will also receive Basil's CD book introducing the Chapman Wave methodology, a $249 value, along with one month of his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value. Basil will be using live charts where and when possible in the webinar to show the concepts of his trading methodology, which works on all time frames. For all the details and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And uh, as we go over and we take a look at uh, Bitcoin out here today, folks, what we, so Sunday night, uh, Bitcoin, oh, look at this thing jump around again. Here we go again. This is, it, so I just brought this up, folks. It was at 16,700. Uh, we just jumped. We just got, went from, we just, <laughs> we're at 16,435 right now. Uh, up $3,000 session to session. Now, what will happen on, uh, so we're going to walk through this a little so you can start to get an understanding um, of how this, how the regulatory framework is set up. Let's put it that way. So uh, we're getting more information on that as, uh, as it, we're go, coming through the day. So the, the CBOE, okay, is going to start trading this on Sunday night. The margin is going to be 35% of the price of Bitcoin 
when they start trading it. Now, the margins are going to be set twice a day in Bitcoin. The reason being is because the volatility is so amazing, right? Uh, what you also have is this. Now, here, here, there, he's, these are the limits. Let me pull this up just so we all should get educated whether you're trading it or not. And I, I, don't, suggest, I don't expect that you should be trading it uh, also. But uh, what I, I am going to direct you to uh, is the Nadex platform. And you can uh, bring up a demonstration account, a demo account. So it's not going to cost you anything. So you can actually see how this does trade, though. So first off, let's go through this. So this is how it's going to go, meaning we're going to talk about lock limits up, lock limits down, and how that works. So the both the CME and the Chicago Board of Option Exchange, they have agreed on these certain terms, uh, meaning of how the lock limit's going to go. So the CBOE halts trading for two minutes if prices rise or fall 10%. And a five-minute halt kicks in if a, a rise or fall of 20%. Uh, the CME, prices aren't allowed to move more than 20% period per day. The, so when you have a lock limit, whether it's up or down, folks, the only way that that gets done, it's, it looks like it's going to be the same way here also, is that it can open back up. Let's just say, let's say I'm going to just take an even number. Let's say that we, uh, we start out the day and you have a, a lock limit of, let's say we start out the day 15,000. So a uh, limit on one side, okay, it's going to be, I'm going to do the 20% limit, all right? So limit on one side is 18,000, limit on the other side is 12, right? So what ends up happening is that in that aspect, Let's say we go up first. You go up to uh, the 15,000. Lock limit goes, right? What does happen is that you can trade it, but the only way you can trade it is that if you're a seller and you're selling under 15,000. That's how markets get opened up again, okay? Now we do the other side. You get lock limit down. You're down to 12,000. The only way that that can get opened is if you're a buyer over 12,000. What's going to get intriguing here, of course, is that when you do have lock limits happening, it's going to be what is the price of the market, meaning on the future market, versus what is the price on the exchanges? Now, under Bloomberg, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, I'm putting up the exchanges that Bloomberg follows. Uh, and inside Bloomberg right now, you got uh, Bitstamp, you got Coinbase, you got iBit. And Cragden. If I pull up Coinbase first, uh, what you're going to see is that we did trade. This is pretty amazing. That peak up here, uh, I have this that it traded to. Uh, look at this, man. This is crazy. I have this. Uh, let me pull this back a little. I have it that it traded to 18,299. That being said, though, the high of today, Bloomberg does, does have registered as 19,697. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Okay, so. Okay, so on the chart, that's what I still have. Um, let me see. Okay, so that's on Coinbase. So the, the, the spread out here today, this is just amazing, actually. So the spread out here today, as, as, as I'm, I'm talking right here, Bitcoin's going through the moon, folks. We, when, we, when I just went back on the air, it just got over 16,000, uh, meaning back on the air of this break. Uh, now, now Bitcoin is at 16,784. Uh, it has a high out here, by the way, of 19,697. So let me just pull up a couple of these others and see if uh, who actually, where it traded at this. Uh, no, that's, okay, so this high is gone now. E well, either that or maybe the, what time is it? Maybe, I, what we have to find out is at what time the actual, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. You, see, you, you know what's happening here, folks, okay? This is, this is good. You talk about the Wild West. 
you pull up these different exchanges, and if you actually could buy and sell these Bitcoins on these exchanges, the arbitrage is insane. So watch this. On uh, Crackton right now, they are offering Bitcoin at 15799 On Coinbase, they will buy it for 16779 That doesn't make any sense at all. That's saying that, uh, so what that's telling me is that you actually don't have a market, okay? That's, that's what that's shaking out. Um, boy, these, these futures exchanges are going to have their hands full. They are going to have their hands full. So let's go over to our website at TFNN. I want to show you something because this is where uh, you are going to basically know more about Bitcoin than anyone out there. Let's see. TFNN. Okay, so we pull up TFNN. On the right-hand side, or right at the very top, you're going to see Nadex binary options. Hit that button, and as you pull it up, folks, you can open a demo account. Okay, they put paper money into your account. You're going to want to do this if you want to follow Bitcoin. The reason being is that what is going to happen... Um, We've had Dan Cook on before. If you went, went to any of our workshops, you know, Dan's been there. Great guy. Uh, bottom line is that they are going to be trading um, weekly Bitcoin spread options. And that way you're going to be able to see how they trade. And not only that, you talk about defined risk. I think these things, if in fact there's a liquid market, uh, this is going to probably be the place to trade it because you can't blow your brains out. Uh, my son Tommy was up here today. When we got the email, we went over there and we, we did it. So they're already on there. They, they have the Bitcoin. Uh, you can actually take a look at it tomorrow because there's an expiration tomorrow. There'll be an opening on Sunday night. There'll be an expiration uh, next Friday. The cool thing is, is that you're going to be able to really just get a flavor about how they trade. So... Uh, we are going to see Sunday night. This is pretty amazing. That 19,000. So picture, this is actually hard to comprehend, that we had a $6,000 spread today in Bitcoin. They're going to be writing about this forever. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today.
with over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so uh, as we uh, get into the overnight session here, uh, what you're going to look for, so picture, you're coming into a Friday. Uh, metals market has been tough, no two ways about that. Uh, we'll really see uh, if, in fact, uh, this little baby, we take a look at this gold contract. Gold contract now is at 12 45 and a, a couple of the numbers to keep your eye on out here tonight uh, 1242 we did have a sign of strength at 1242 on july that's july 21st and then the next one down after that would be 1232 if they slice and dice those those babies then 1204 is game uh we take a look at the uh, futures market, uh, what you can expect out here, I suspect inside the futures market, a lot of sideways movement. Uh, I'm not expecting any types of pops. The reason being is that when you do go worldwide and we take a look at worldwide, uh, last night you had the Asian market was mixed. That's after uh, being down pretty hard the, the prior night. Uh, in Europe out here today, uh, that kind of traded where we did, meaning uh, Europe was down the last three or four days. It was up uh, one-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths of uh, one percent. Uh, what we do have, now this is what's also going on, is that as we're coming into next week, next week realistically is the last full week of uh, trading, it looks to me. Let me just look at this calendar again. Uh, before the, uh, yeah, it really is, before the holiday starts. So we're coming in, you get the 11th to the 18th, the 15th. Next week you come in, you get the, we get, we get, we, we actually get about five, six, you get about eight trading days left that are going to have volume inside the market before all of a sudden you're going to be at uh, January 2nd. Isn't that wild? Because you get Christmas on a Monday, which is the 25th. January 1st is on a Monday. Um, bottom line. 2017, down the tubes. 2018, coming at us. You stay right there, folks. The Mad Andy Hex is going to be coming up, growling and prowling with you. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it. Step into it. Take ownership of it and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Great night. Safe night. Stay right there. Andy's coming right up. Wow! Go get him, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.